Recently I created a gummy bear and I wanted to just go over the approach that I took in order to model the gummy bear because we see here that it's it's nice and smooth and uh, it's got some details like eyes and a muzzle and things that uh, are pretty straightforward but um, there's actually a really kind of easy process in order to sculpt this. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get a rough representation of what a gummy bear looks like. So in this example, I'll just reference what I did. We, we see that we have a big body area. We've got a head. We've got some ears. Obviously, it's uh, arms and legs. Um, and those are the basic shapes. So this body area, th the whole shape of it looks kind of like a rectangle. But the body here, we can see this is kind of a circular head with circular ears, circular arms and legs. Everything's actually pretty circular. So in 3D, we want to start out with primitive shapes like that. So diving back in here, if I drop down a sphere and change the primitive type to polygon mesh, I'm going to, I just hit space G there and uh, W is to toggle the wireframe. And uh, right now I have points selected, so I'm going to change that. So I'm going to hit Shift W just to put these down. So right now we want to sculpt out just the rough shapes of the body of this um, bear. So I'm going to rotate this actually 90 degrees. And just FYI, in case you're wondering, we are not going to get to the full gummy bear. That would take a lot longer than 10 minutes, but I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in order to accomplish that, you're just going to have to do the work of um, refining it. So I'm going to move this up. So this is going to represent uh, the gummy bear's stomach. And then I'm going to duplicate that. I just uh, pressed the Alt key and click Duplicate. That's how you do that. Um, I'm going to, let me drop down a Merge node. So this will be the body. Oh, B D O Y. Okay, body and head. Okay. And if we click on the merge, we can see that there. I'm going to move the head up a bit. All right. And what I'm going to do is scale this down slightly. Okay. And then what I'm going to also do is merge in an ear. Okay, so I'm just going to duplicate this, say ear, click there, and we're going to, again, move this over to this side. I'm going to scale this down a bit, and you can also click here on the side to be able to get transform properties, which is probably a little bit easier. Okay, so maybe scale that down a bit, and then... What, do, what else do we want? We want to get some arms in here. So I'm going to just say arm. I'm going to bring this down here. That looks like a good enough spot. We'll extend this here. Okay. And then we also want to merge in a leg. Now, the reason I'm only doing half the body is because we are actually going to take this and mirror what's going on here. So that looks okay for now. So what we're going to do is now drop down a clip node. And with this clip node, we are going to chop our bear in half. If you see down here, we've got uh, the X direction going there. So we're actually going to change that to the X direction. So we've chopped it in half. Now, if we drop down a mirror, SOP, and again, that direction is going there, we've just duplicated that there. So, we've saved a lot of time, because now we don't have to do that whole other side. We can just focus on adjusting whatever is going on here, and we know that it's going to be reflected here in the mirror. So, this is our basic bare bones shape of our bear. Now, I know it doesn't look good right now, um, but this is what I started with in order to create a bear that turned out like this. So now let's start to refine this. First thing, 
we know that a gummy bear is nice and smooth. It doesn't have sharp creases or sharp cavities like this does. So how do we solve that? You could try and push and pull and these points, but that would just take a lot longer than what's necessary. So what we can do is convert this into a VDB object. What this is going to do is this is actually going to make an object that what you would do in like ZBrush, for example, where it makes a, an object that's VDBs and, and you can sculpt right out of it. Um, we're not necessarily going to sculpt out of the VDBs, but by putting this down, this will allow us to be able to, for example, drop down a VDB smooth and we can smooth it out. And maybe that's a little too much, but if we come up here and maybe make our voxel size a little bit bigger, smaller, I should say, um, then our VDB smooth, we can just kind of play with the settings here. Okay. And then I'm just going to drop down a VDB convert, bring it back into polygon, polygon land. So we've uh, got this again now as polygons. So this does not look like the gummy bear. I know that. But what it does illustrate is you already see that this is nice and smooth like the gummy object would be, like this is right here. Yeah, that's what we want. So what we're going to do now is just start refining things. So we know that the gummy bears on the bottom and the back are actually flat. Okay? So if we jump back here, what we want to do is kind of chop off this back, but we also want to do it in a smooth manner. So what we could do is we could drop down a box, okay? And we can actually just plug it in right here because then this matches the exact same uh, proportions or whatever what we have here. But I'm also going to check the lock box here. Now what this does is that means that I could even just unplug this here and it's uh, it's uh, not going to change. So it basically saves that geometry as is. Now if you unlock it then you know you don't have anything to go off of. But we're, we're going to lock that there. Um, and what we're going to do is drop down to transform sop. Okay and this is going to be the cutter essentially for our gummy bear. So I'm going to chop a portion of his back here. And I'm going to scale that up a bit. Maybe that's too much. Okay. And what I'm going to do is tr uh, convert this into a VDB object as well. And now what I can do is drop down a VDB combine plug this in here, plug that in here, and then the operation I'm going to do an SDF difference. So it's going to take the difference between these two objects and that is going to perform our cut. So already we see we have more of a flat back. And then if we were to smooth that, that kind of smooths it out there, just kind of like how mine is. It's, it's not just like a cut, but it's smoothed. And then we convert that again, and we see that it's already looking a lot better. Now, I know there's things that we would want to change. I mean, we definitely want to um, go and tweak the body. But this, this is a, a good enough start to know that this is all I did in order to get to that result. Um, on top of that, I think I added in another sphere as his nose and then a couple more as eyes. And then um, what you can do, which is the last tip that I'll show here, is as you're modeling here, um, what you can do is if you need to push and pull points, you can click your S key and then click 2 for points. Um, and you could click on a point here, let's say the, the middle here, and uh, then you can, you can click uh, T. And that creates an edit node. Now, I'm not going to do that in the mainstream here. I'm actually going to come back and just do it on the actual body. The reason I'm going to do that is because if I change other things, then that edit node is going to be altered because it takes it by the point number. But I know I'm never going to alter this body. So if I come down here 
hit T, then I can move this in, change the soft radius, maybe tuck that body in a little bit there, and then it procedurally updates everything, so already we have a flatter looking gummy bear body. So that approach, if you were to do that to the whole body, maybe make the body skinnier, pull out the arms a little bit more, pull out some eyes, that approach is going to get you a result like this. But you have to put in the effort to do it, and that's all I did. Just doing some edits, starting out with this just rough representation of what a gummy bear looks like, and then refining it with uh, VDB converts. So this mesh is not a good mesh for production use. So what we would do after this is retopologize it, make it into a nice mesh that then we can UV map, but that I'm going to save for my next tutorial. So tune in for that, and if you like this, feel free to give it a like or comment. If you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them. And we'll see you next time.